Hey, people! Lovely to see you! So today, we're filming on a new camera, and it's new set day! Yeah! I'm super excited. So let's just grab the box with the box in it, because, yeah, stuff and reasons. Um, I can't show you the top part because there's matters on it, but we have a box all the way from the Pokemon Center. So I'm just gonna cut this behind the camera and keep talking to you guys while I do so. Um, it is just past 10 a.m. here, I think about 10.30ish now. Um, I was actually about to go to sleep when this arrived. So my day started off with getting up at 6 a.m., being at the Pokemon Center by 7 a.m., only to find out people had been lining up since 4 a.m., and then I had to wait until 9.30ish before I finally got a ticket, and then I could go back to the Pokemon Center at 4 o'clock, and then I'll be allowed to buy two boxes. But because I was a stubborn, stubborn potato, I have one box that I was able to pre-order. Yes! <laughs> I was totally ready to take a nap, and then my doorbell rang, and I was like, the box is here! So let's just jump straight into this ultra shiny box. Um, this one, if you guys don't know, um, it took me three hours and change of repeatedly resetting and trying to pre-order this box on the website to get it. So I am super happy to have it. And oh my god, this is beautiful. <laughs> Let's just get right in close. Look at that box. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, look at that artwork. Oh, it's so good. So there's probably going to be some over-the-top reactions happening. And <coughs> I still have the cough. We're in the um, not-so-nice dry hacking stage of the illness now. So every time I like laugh or really react to something, then I start coughing. So we'll see how far we get before I like choke to death. What is happening? The box doesn't want to be opened. Oh, for sale in Japan only. Stop asking. No, seriously. <laughs> that sounds really mean, but seriously. Um, part of the problem we're having right now with the market in Japan is that so many people outside of Japan want the cards, and there's nothing wrong with that, but I don't think the Pokemon company is making enough cards to supply to the entire world, and they can barely keep up with the local demand. So, like, just take it easy on those of us in the country, guys. Um, I'm trying to help out people if I can, but things like this new set, it's not going to be possible for someone like me to go out and buy enough boxes to actually get boxes for other people as a proxy or to resell or anything, and I would feel really guilty reselling anyways. Anyways, I'm just rambling on and on because look at it! It's beautiful! I've been waiting so long for this. Oh, look at that GX list. So many GXs. And, like, oh, 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 look at it. It's beautiful. I can't, I can't even word right now. You know what? We're going to be different. We'll keep the box. No, no, we're not going to be different. Box over the shoulder. Let's shuffle. Because <laughs> you know I'm a maniac that way. We just got to shuffle in here. Mix them all up. Let's mix them up one more time. Mix them up again. Okay. And then let's look at that amazing pack art. I said let's look at that amazing pack art. Still getting used to the new camera. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I feel like everything is slightly blue tinted, but that might be just be the camera trying to compensate for the lighting in here. Now, um, there are 150 cards in the set. It's insane. And that's just 150 numbered cards, like the 1 to 150. I believe there's nearly 100 secret rare cards. Everything from Shining Pokemon to Shining GX Pokemon to gold cards. Do you know how many gold cards there are on this set? There are too many gold cards. So let's jump in. We're going to cut this first pack open. Um, I'm going to try and save some of these empty packs because they are beautiful. Now, the usual trick with Pokemon cards, as you guys have know if you've watched my videos and other Japanese collectors, is it's one goes to the front. But this one, it's just insanity. And if you don't know, my friend Brace Gaming is actually here right now in Japan. He's already got three boxes open and up online. And I've been watching his to try and figure out what the pack trick might be. So I think... These three cards are regular, no rarity, but essentially common cards. And the three at the front are also common cards. We're going to put these ones here. Now, this very back card should be a Shatterfoil Hollow. I think that's the right word for it. You know what I mean when I say Shatter. 
um, and the one in front of it should be the GX. But between that and the very back, it, it, anything could happen. It's insane. Like, blah, 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 insane. So, of course, we're getting a lot of reprints in the set as well, but it, it's all worth it. It's okay. And now we're gonna try and slow down and really enjoy this and savor this because as much as I have two more boxes coming today, we're not doing them all in one day. I can't afford that. So we are going to just enjoy these. We got Quagsire, right? I was gonna say Whoopa. We've got the Mono Mane Musume. Copycat, that's what it is in English. Ooh, Water Memory. I think those are new memories for, um, what's his name? Savali. Ooh, we do have the new Cosmog art. Very, very cute. She's so floofy. Oh, we got an Ivysaur, which is from Shining Legends. Funny to see Shining Legends in Ultra Shiny, but I guess it had to be because of some of the special cards. Um, now we got a Heatmore, or yeah, Heatmore, I think. Not Heatran. Heatran is the other one. Why do they have to name two of them Heat? It's confusing. All right, so our first card is, well, not first card, but our first crazy card is the Wander... Hey, Wanda Labyrinth. Wonder Labyrinth, I think? That is amazing. And here's where I'm going to get really messed up because my automatic thing is I want to sleeve it, but everything from here on is sleeve worthy. So I might just sleeve everything at the very end. Okay, we got a Manaphy Hollow who I think was also from Shining Legends. So welcome back. Uh, okay, we're starting with a Tapu Lele. Well, that's good news because. I think even though she's being reprinted for the third time, she's still going to be worth a bit, and this isn't one I'd want to be trying to chase down as a single. So thank you, Pokemon Gods. And there's our Shatterfoil Hollow, and that is the Heat Rotom. So let's just double check that there. Yeah, four cards, and basically in every pack, these four could be pretty much anything. It'll always be mirror, uh, Shatter, Mirror Foil, whatever you want to call it, and GX, and then these two are kind of the wild cards. Um, could be a shining Pokemon. Somewhere in this box there is a guaranteed, uh, watch him, who's it? Shining GX Pokemon. And whoa, whoa, whoa just throwing scissors everywhere. <laughs> I believe you can also get two Prism Stars in a box or two shining Pokemon, but not both. Or one might replace the other, but I, I don't know. It's very confusing. I want to say there's just two Shining Pokemon like there were with Shining Legends, but it doesn't seem to be quite that way. I don't know. Let's just let's just not try to analyze too much and just enjoy this because this set is insane. Also, my doorbell's ringing. Chotomate. And we're back! That was the um, always dreaded NHK. So now I'm worried that might have affected the pack somehow. <laughs> NHK likes to come around and be like, you have to pay to have NHK. And I'm like... I don't even own a TV, and even if I did, I wouldn't watch NHK because it's not interesting. So, shoo shoo, go away. Anyways, uh, that was Gladion. This is a Flint. <laughs> Mimikyu! So we have this beautiful new Mimikyu artwork. Look at that. It is amazing. And this is going to be a long video, by the way, but since I still have my buddy Kevin's computer here, that's okay. I can take my time and enjoy things, and we'll just make a crazy long video. We got Curlia, Dino, um, Execute. We got a Raikou Hollow, looking pretty snazzy. We've got a Feramosa Hollow, also very cool. That is new artwork, I believe. I love that motion blur on her. It's just so well done. She is the Chun Li of the Pokemon world. Ooh, that's another good one to get. Um, Gardevoir. She has been quite playable, I think. That's one that would have been worth se while selling if I'd had extras to sell before this came out. I don't know. The value of everything, I think, is going to be affected by this. And our Shatter Foil is a... Oh, no. Fennekin Delphox? Or is Delphox the last one? I don't know. But she's a very cute and happy fox. We'll make a song for her because we don't know her name. And it's kind of nice compensation for someone forgetting your name to make a song about you. Except not. <laughs> Sorry, in case you can't tell, I am very tired. So, um, yeah. My brain is obviously not functioning at 100%. I'm confused by this new set, but also absolutely enamored with it. 
And it's just so weird seeing like all these reprint cards, but then there's new cards and then there's shining Pokemon coming and I don't know how to feel. Um, we got a Max Potion. Max Potion, Max Potion. Uh, Cut Rotom. Ultra Space. Um, Magnemite. It's you again! Her name is just Ter Teruna in Japanese. Hey, it's a Poiple! Poiple, Poiple, Poiple. Yeah, everything looks really blue to me on the camera's screen. When I'm looking at it here, it's a very nice warm purple, but when I'm looking at it on the camera, it's very blue. Da boo dee da boo die. Ah, dark rye! We got a Celestela. So lots of reprint hollows. Oh, and there's the guy. You knew we had to see him eventually. Midnight form Lycan Rock. Kind of a meme with the Lycan Rocks that they appear in all mystery packs because I think they've been reprinted twice now. This is the third time. They've been reprinted three times, the three Lycan Rock forms. But there is another like a rock form to be had in here. And we got a shatter mirror foiled skateboard. Yay! This is another thing I don't know how to feel about. It's kind of cool, but I kind of would have liked it better if they did it like the other SM Plus sets where you just get an entirely mirror foil set. Because uh, the idea of trying to collect all of these as the shatter foils is just insane. Like, it's already too big of a set. It's already really difficult to buy. It's just not possible. So somewhere out there, there'll be one person doing the master set with all, I guess we could call them reverse shatter foils. I don't know. <laughs> reverse shatter hollow. Yay. Uh, but yeah, it's not going to be me. I'm not going to be the person trying to do that. I will keep the ones I really like and the other shatter foils I'll probably sell because yeah, I just need the basic set and then the ones I really like and get excited about. Counter energy. Hey, uh, Zwilus? Dino Zwilus. Hydragon, right? Alolan Dig Lit. I was about to say Dig Dug because his Japanese name is Dig Da. Um, Slugma. Ooh. The Alolan Ninetales new artwork. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. I'm pretty happy right now because we're already getting like a lot of the new artworks and the Pokemon that I really like too. So nothing to complain about. Hello! It is our good old friend Garchomp with Cynthia in the background who appears in this set as a new full art along with Guzma. Ooh, we got a Reshiram GX. What up, buddy? I feel like I haven't seen you in a hot minute. And we've got a Magnazone reverse shatter foil hollow laser party. Beep, 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 beep. You know, this is going to get really crazy. Let's just pause for a second. Let's put the GXs back here and put the hollows down here. And Prism Stars can go with the GXs in the back. Oop. And at the end, we'll have a slightly more reasonable recap to work through. I hope. Goodness, there's so many hollows. Look at this. Like, we are four packs in and already so many hollows. <laughs> Which is not a bad thing at all. It's just, it feels so weird. Like... Japanese sets aren't usually like this. This is the strangest set I've ever had the pleasure of opening. And I am very excited to get two more boxes. But like I said, I will not be opening them right away because that would be insanity. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get any more boxes of this or any more packs or anything. So let's just take it easy and take our time enjoying it. Not get too caught up in the initial hype. We got a Weavile. Um, Shrine of Punishment, I think? Hey, it's you, uh, Volkner, right? No, I don't see it. Froakie. Um, Alolan Dugtrio being fabulous. And did I do the shuffle really well again? How do I keep doing this? If you go and watch Bracia's videos, I'm going to link them below. You need to go watch all of his videos because he's going to be opening more boxes faster than I am. So if you want to see more of this set faster, you need to go check out Brace Gaming. But his first box was absolutely insane. I feel like this one's Del Fox. And I just don't know who you are. I just want to call you Renard. Oy, we got a Galissapod. He's so cute. I love you, Galissapod. And, ooh, okay, that's a Shatter Foil I think I might want to keep. Oh, because it's yummy, yummy. Sableye. Yeah, I won't spoil anything for you guys. Just know that um, Bracia's first box, as far as the positioning of things and what he got, was absolutely insane. Um, so I'm quite proud of my shuffling skills at the moment because maybe we're keeping some suspense until the very end. We still have four packs to go. This is pack number six. Six out of ten. Still weird. Ten packs 
10 cards per pack, 10 packs per box. It feels so odd. Ooh. <laughs> it's the... <laughs> It's just so weird. It's the new Alolan Executor. But like, I know it's supposed to be that he's whipping his head at us, but for some reason my brain is seeing it as though the head is stationary and he's just flinging his body somewhere out there. And it's like, you know, buddy, I know how you feel. Some days I look in the mirror and I want to throw my body a million miles away too. Um, I don't know their English names. I know they are the, was it Battle Chateau? or Chatelaine ladies, something like that. But she is Dumitan in Japanese. Also, all coming is full arts. There are so many lovely lady full arts in this set. It's insane. And I would love to chase them. But like I said, I don't even know. I didn't see it. Evie. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get more packs or boxes or anything beyond these initial three. So I don't want to, like, try to chase the lovely ladies and then find out I can't. All right. What are we doing here? Oh. Oh, do you see that? SSR. Should we just do it? First box, why not? <gasps> oh my god! Oh! 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 Oh no! Oh! Oh my god, we got Shining Zorak. Okay, let's just slide these. Who's out? Who's behind here? Alright, we got Gladio, and we got ones we've seen. Hey! <laughs> I see you. I see you, Zerkatree. But this, this needs a sleeve. I need to get that ready. Oh my goodness. You know what? Let's get in. Let's see how, how wonderful this camera is. Can it get really close in here? Oh, it can. Look at that. Shining Zoroark. Oh my goodness. Look at the eye, the subtle texture, the color. Oh, wow. All right, um, I'm sure there are people who would want to argue about what the best Shining cards are to pull in this, but I think Shining Zoroark is right up there. In terms of playability and value, for sure, it's really, really good. And then Zoroark's just cool, and the color scheme's really cool, and it's not anything that has cursed me or my friends previously, so it's just going to sit right back there. Oh, oh that is amazing. That is stunning. And I, I know I kind of glazed over it there, but um, we had our two hollows, Rosernius and uh, Denji Moku, Zerkatri, and our Shatterfoil was Gladius. And in that case, the GX came before the hollows. So you can see why it's a little confusing. Like, there's no simple, here's the pack trick to put the best card at the back of the pack. Because, yeah. I mean, you could put the Shatterfoil at the very front, I guess. I don't know. Should we try one? Let's just... Let's just try one and be wackadoodle. Let's see what we can get here. We know these are the three commons, so put them here. And then let's take you, because you're the Shatterfoil, and go one, two, three, and do this. <laughs> let's just see what that does. I feel like that's too much work. All right, we got a frying pan, or a drying pan, depending on how you like to use it. We got a Rotom. That's a regular old Rotom. Lusamine, I want to look for you still. <laughs> I love this Bulbasaur. He's just so derpy. Pachirisu! Yay! By Oyama. Uh, we got a unit energy. All right. This time our Shatterfoil is Quagsire. I, I guess it works having it here, but at the end works too. Uh, we got a Buzzwall. I keep wanting to combine Guzzlord and Buzzwall into one. Just be like, it's Buzzlord and Guzzwall. And now I am going to do it on accident, aren't I? I've just cursed myself. This is a type null. And that is a Dawn Wings Necrozma. Oh, so nice. I think that artwork is different too, isn't it? If I remember correctly, some of the GX artworks that we're getting in this set were released as alternate art promos in the English TCG. And so we're getting them for the first time in this set, which is kind of cool. Um, also very confusing though, because I go through these moments where I'm like, have I seen this card before? I'm sure I've pulled it, except the artwork is different, but I haven't looked at the previous card recently, so I don't know. We're not going to try moving the Shatterfoil around, because that's just silly. Um, we got a Venusaur. Hey, you guys. I have no idea what their English name is, but um, Nobori to Kudari. Okay. I, I assume Nobori is some sort of a play on Noboru, which is ride, but I don't know what Kudari is supposed to be. So, um, okay. One of them you can ride, the other don't. 
oh goodness, that's that's a Fennekin. <laughs> Don't think about that too much. Unit energy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a snover. Ooh, look at that dusk main necrozma. Oh, that's beautiful. I feel like that one's new art too, isn't it? I don't feel like I've ever seen it before. It's amazing. Hey, Guzzlord. <coughs> oh no, the cop is here. It's because you thought I was going to get your name wrong, but I did it. <coughs> Don't make me choke. I want to talk to the Poke people still. Hey, and we got Sil Valley GX. Very cool. And our Shatter Foiled here is a Cut Rotom. We got two Rotom Shatter Foils so far. All right, we only got two packs left. Two packs out of this first box. Oh my goodness. I feel like every time I breathe, there's like a secondary wheeze happening in the back of my throat, and I really hope that the mic isn't picking up on it. I'm sorry if I'm breathing on you people. I don't mean to be. I'm just trying to breathe in general. At this point, I'm pretty sure I'm over the worst of the sickness, and I might just be suffering from Kafun Cho now, which is basically hay fever. I just don't know if it's because of the Hinoki or the Sugi or the Goldenrod or I don't know. Something's trying to choke me with Paul, and that's what I do know. That was a, a washing machine rodent, by the way. Energy Recycler, Mount Lawn Aquila. Um, you're... N no, you're not Combuskin. Chicken Nugget. You know, you're just Drumstick. You are Drumstick. <laughs> we got an Inke. I'm sorry, I'm making an arbitrary binding decision that is a drumstick if the first one is a chicken nugget that's a drumstick we got swabla and oh oh okay you know what you know what this one we are gonna be ridiculous uh we're gonna go this way we got a greninja gx oh let's put him back here and we got a zekrom who doesn't want to be in focus zekrom what's wrong with you you shy don't be shy it's okay and Whoop. Hey, you're Combuskin, right? I think so. Now, what's behind here is something fantastic, and we're going to put that down. But you may have noticed that pack didn't seem to have a Shatterfoil in it. So, yes, something has replaced it. Something unexpected. Um, we also haven't had a single just normal, well, not normal, but you know what I mean, like Shining Pokemon that was not the Shining GX. So, as I said, this is very confusing. Like, there's nothing I can easily follow in my head. Like, oh, I'm guaranteed two Prism Stars or I'm guaranteed two Shinings because there's no guarantees except that you get one Shining GX in a box and one regular GX in every pack and one Mirror Foil. Except that pack didn't have me. I, see, my brain, it can't handle it. This is the last pack. We don't need to wish for last pack magic. Just trust me. We got a Magirna. We got a Guzma. Ooh, ooh, look at that Malamar. Oh, oh, I wish that was a hollow. Look at his eyes. He coming for you. You better be careful. We got a Wimpod. Riolu, I still need to hatch one of Pokemon Go. It's driving me crazy. We've got an Alolan Vulpix. I wish they'd reprinted the really cute one, but I guess it's okay. We can deal with this. Oh, there we go. We got a Shining Pokemon. Oh, and it's Woopa. Oh my gosh! Oh, it's so delightful and cute! Look at him! Oh! Look at you! You're the happiest pink baby! Oh! Oh! Oh, it's so cute! Oh, laser party! All right, that's gonna need a sleeve in a moment, so we're we're just gonna put that down. We'll put a sleeve on it. We got Lucario Hollow. Ooh, we got the uh, Dawn Wings Necrozma. I believe that is new art as well. And Marshadow GX. All right, let's put a sleeve on Whoopa to protect it because we only got, yeah, we got one Shining and one Prism Star. So I guess you get two in any combination of those. Does that sound right, perhaps? Apparently my camera felt I was talking for too long and decided to cut the video off. And now I know this camera has a limit on how long I can record for. Um, anyways, that's Whoopa. Looking amazing. Whoopa, Hoopa, Doopa Doopa. Oh, it's so beautiful. All right, he's gonna sit back here and then let's see what is hiding behind this card? Oh, I'm having trouble picking it up now. Be gentle. Be gentle. Be very, very careful. All right. Swablu. Focus. What are you hiding? 
What do you guys think it is? It's something. It's something. I think I know what it is. It's a Tapabulu Gold Guard. Oh, my guess. Whoa, look at the texture. That is insane. I do not know how to feel about this, honestly. Like, gold cards are really cool, and I love the gold and red effect, but Tapu Bulu is not one of my favorite Pokemon, and it's just, I'm so bamboozled, because if you haven't figured it out yet, all four Tapus are gold in this set, plus Ultra Necrozma, and then I think there's a new gold Dawn Wings and Duskmane, or maybe, no, because we just had regular Lunala and Solgaleo gold before. So those are also, there's like seven gold cards in this set. Basically is what I'm trying to get at. And it is absolutely insane. Um, we need to put a sleeve on this boy. Sleeve him up. Okay, let's go. Now he's safe. Wow. So this is another thing that can happen. You can get a gold card and your guaranteed shiny GX in one box. So it doesn't replace it, which is insane but so good but also insane and let's recap whoop recap time so this is going to be a bit of a long one because there's a lot of cards obviously but for those of you who just want to skip to the end and see what the pulls are hello so we have a cut rotom a quagsire goes nicely with the little shining that we got gladios yummy rami sableye Heat Rotom. We got two Shatterfoil Rotoms. My goodness. Um, Del Fox? No. Ah! A Skateboard. <laughs> a Magnezone. So we got a total of nine Shatterfoils because one of the potential Shatterfoils was replaced with something much more fantastic. Which, you know, Shatterfoils are still cool, but I mean, gold card, like, hello. That wins, obviously. For Hollows, we got this massive stack here. Look at Look at the size of that stack. Look how thick it is. It doesn't want to be in focus. That's okay. We'll stop focusing on it. Well, mentally focusing on it, even though the camera won't focus. Well, you know what I mean. We got Dawn Wings and Krosma. We got Lucario. Combuskin. Zekrom. Guzzlord. Not Wall. <laughs> Dawn Wings. Type Null. Buzzwall. I'm, I'm okay. We're okay. Zerny is. Yay, Zerkadre! I love him so much. You, I think, are Del Fox. You also look like a Renaissance painting. Um, I didn't, I didn't even say his name before. Orangaroo. Manaphy. Uh, Fetamosa. Raiko. Celestila. <laughs> I don't know what's happening with my voice. <laughs> Darkrai. Garchomp. And somehow I just automatically made best for last. Alola Ninetales. <gasps> She's so pretty. And then for our other other pulls. What's interesting too, I'm sure you guys probably already have realized this, but the cards don't have rarities. See? Normally these hollows would be rares, but they don't have a rarity symbol, and neither do the common cards, and neither do the mirror foils. So it's very, very odd, a very odd set. However, things like Prism Stars and this uh, Wonder Labyrinth obviously have a rarity symbol. It's a Prism Rare. Now, for our GXs, you know what, let's just do the GXs only, because I feel like I'm holding too many things. Uh, we should have a full 10 here. No, 9, because one of them was replaced by the Shining. So we got Marshadow, Greninja, uh, Silvalli. This is really, like, taking me, my brain for a good bit of exercise. Uh, Dawn Wings to Krozma. Pod, I love you! Tapu Lele! I still can't believe she showed up so soon. Hi, girl, how's it going? Uh, Gardi, Gardevoir, Lycanroc, and a Reshiram need to roll some R's because why not? Now for the crazy, crazy, crazy pulls, of course, we have this one that I absolutely love. I am over the moon with this. <gasps> it's just so cute. Oh my goodness. We got Shining Whoopa. Whooper? Whoopa? His Japanese name is Upa. Which makes it really confusing when you have Hoopa. So you got Upa and Hoopa in Japanese, and it becomes Hoopa and Whooper in English, but my brain just can't process. It's still too early in the morning for me. Of course, this completely unexpected super rare pull, although I guess. Wait, what? I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to process this, because usually when you buy a box, there's one guaranteed super rare in every box, right? But 
In this set, your guaranteed super rare is the SSR rare. You get one guaranteed Shining GX Pokemon. And obviously, we got... Ooh, that, they really, like, are opposite to each other. I like that. Let's make them look at each other. <laughs> and then they kiss. Mwah. Anyways, what was I saying? It's just confusing to me because these are both, and this guy too, these are all secret rares. They're all beyond the initial 150 in the set, but you're guaranteed this one in the box. These ones, I don't know if you're guaranteed them. I don't know if he replaced a Shining Pokemon or if he replaced a Prism Star or what, but it's a crazy amazing set and I think we had a pretty fantastic start, especially with this guy here. Look at him, he's beautiful. Now, that is not all, because I have something here that I'm not going to open because it's actually not mine anymore. But I want to show it off while I have it because it's going to be well before I have my own, and that is... Da -da -da -dum, the Munch File. <laughs> Munch File. So, these you can only obtain either from the Pokemon Center online store or at the Tokyo Metropolitan Museum of Art, where the Scream and other works by Munch are being showcased right now, which is why this series of Pokemon promos, full art promos, have been made to commemorate it. And I guess to kind of get kids excited about classical art, because why the heck not? I mean, what kid wouldn't want to go and get this? Okay, maybe the children are scared of this one. But the other ones, let me look at the Eevee. And you can't really see the Pikachu there, but I'm not going to open it, and I don't want to try and move the card around, because this is actually going to be going to Braish. Um, obviously, I haven't been to Tokyo. I was able to order this online, but you're only allowed to buy one per person. So I bought it, and then he's here visiting, can't find one anywhere. So I was like, you know what? I'll just order another one on a different day. Should be fine. Website said no. It said no. Can't do it. So my buddy Kevin has ordered one of these for me. And I repaid Kevin, like, paid him for that, obviously. And then this one will go to Braish, who's obviously paying me for it. So there's just a lot of wheeling and dealing going around, but we're helping each other out, making sure that my friend gets something very, very special and shockingly hard to obtain. But you know what? That's good, because it slows the scalpers down quite a bit. And you can get a little hint of Pikachu here. So you'll have to wait for Braish to open this up if you want to see that whole picture in the back. But I need to show it off while it's here, because look at it! Look at it! Just you look at it! Well, my goodness, that was one heck of a box. Um, it's one heck of a set. It, it's just a giant bamboozle overall. Like, I am, ugh, don't know how to handle this. I'm at 4 o'clock today. I'm going back, buying two more boxes. Not going to open them right away. Going to do something else instead, probably because I want to make this last. I want to try and do, like, a box a week for the month, unless it becomes possible to get more boxes than I could do more boxes, more frequently. You know what I mean. But yeah, I want to make it last. I want to enjoy it because this is a very, very beautiful and special set. And with the card shortage, I just don't want to rush through it and then be filled with regrets and wish that I had more to open. Am I even in focus? I hope I am. Go minne. Anyways, this is a very, very long video. I've been talking a lot. I need to stop talking and start editing. So thank you, thank you very, very much for watching. Please check out my friend Braish Gaming. I will link him down below so you can see even more amazing Ultra Shiny boxes. Trust me, he's had some fantastic pulls and he's just been able to be a lot faster than me this time around, which is awesome. It's so cool to see somebody being able to get in there and like produce something fantastic so quickly on release day. So go say hi. Tell him I say hi. Tell him Rudy's adorable. And you know, give him some support because he's a really nice friend and well, nice person and a good friend. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> Anyways, I'm rambling. I can't stop rambling. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching. Love you and appreciate all of you. I will see you again very, very soon in the next one.